Hello, my dear friends. I am Lakshmi Kant. Hope you all are fine, my dear. Dear, in this very topic, I am going to tell you about the mind map of transporting plants, my dear. Dear, this one is the unit 4 and this one is very important chapter, my dear. So, here in botany, what we should have to be know here, my dear, this is very fantastic. You know, why? Because here the transport, it means that transportation, it needs what? Energy. So, if uh, anything needs energy, then how the life get the energy, my dear? This one is the very important things to know here. So, let me start here, but uh, you all know that this one is what mind map. So, here we what uh, only give you a concise things that whatever given in your NCRT, my dear, right? Now, see, uh, you are all ready to start? You all are ready? Yes, if you all are ready, then give up the likes and uh, just support this one channel. And uh, this one is very, very fantastic to all of you, my dear. Hope so, you all are fine. And um, hope so, your life will be also a word so fantastic, so superb, so mind blowing that you can achieve any goal in your life. And uh, just one thing that is very important, my dear, here I want to say that if you want to success in your life, just take your goal. And you just opt your one goal. You have to not make more than one goal. If you have more than one goal, then you never, never what to conquer the goal, my dear. So if you have a one goal, then your focus is your one. And if their one focus is be there, then your achievement is be their one. And if one achievement is there is one, then your success be also is your what? Your one. Yes. So, my dear, here I'm going to start this one thing that is what very interesting to know here. That is what transport in plants, my dear. Now, see, this one is the unit four. Dear, how we start this one mind map? This one is a very, very, very interesting to know here. Let's see. First, here, the so many branches you are seeing. Am I right? <laughs> Sorry. When today is um, cold here. So, that's why. So, transport in plants, uh, how we study here, uh, sneezing, coughing, uh, you all know these all are what? Involuntary action. So, that's why involuntary action, that action which is not controlled by our will. Okay, this one is also you have to be studying in biology in uh, human physiology, my dear. That is uh, breathing and respirations and nervous system control and coordination. So, see uh, what I am saying to you. I am saying to you here about that the how the transport in plants will occur, okay. So, means of transport, uh, first here we discuss, first you have to be know here that, that what we should have to be discuss in this very mind map, that let's see here first, here I am going to discuss about which one thing you know, here the first, let's see, what the middle, what the middle center, what the middle center little, uh, written here, my dear, say, say, yes, this one is what transport in plants, my dear, not transport in animals, transport in animals needs what, you know, what need you know? Don't know. They need what? Circulatory system. Yes, you are right. Circulatory system. But here, there is no any circulatory system in, in plants, my dear. Is that clear? Yes. So, now the question is here. Sir, why? Why we have what circulatory system to uh, get the energy? Yes, because whatever the system, that is circulatory system, uh, they provide energy with the form of what blood. Yes, we get the energy in the form of blood. That blood is transported to each and every part of the cell because we need energy to each and every part of the cell, my dear. Getting my point or not? So, this one is the thing very important to know here. So, but here, what I am saying here, let us listen first. I am listening, I am saying here that uh, in human, in animals, they have what circulatory system, right? But in plants, they does not having any circulatory system, my dear. Getting my point or not? So, what, what here, what here, sir, here the transport with the help of diffusion, with the help of what transport, with the, and transport, active transport and passive transport. Here the transport, uh, here the things that is to be transported to each and every part of the cells with the help of the what conducting tissues here. Getting my point? Yes. Uh, now, see, why we have circulatory system? This one is the question I will ask here, na? Yes. We have circulatory system, my dear, you know why? Because, because, let's see, because we need energy at the longer distance, my dear. Getting my point or not? No. 
longer distance it means what the distance is what so high in a uh, plants and animals my dear so that's why they need what blood vessels there getting my point getting my point yes so our the distance is what is so long so that's why we need a system that system is called cervicodactyl system but the plant is also long but they don't doesn't need no they doesn't need because suppose this one is the cells and one cells uh, uh, give the energy to the another cells with the help of plasmodesmata you know the meaning of plasmodesmata yes connecting of the cells within the cells yes that is known as what there is what transport so within the cells or you say the one cell to the another cells or from outer to inner and inner to outer there is simple diffusion will will take place getting my getting my point or not because they doesn't need to carry carry the what any useful materials to the so long distance my dear whatever the compressionally in human whatever the compressionally compression in animals getting my point or not so we uh, need what circulatory system but plant doesn't need circulatory system this one is the very important thing to know here right now see now see this here is also very fantastic thing let's see what i'm saying here that suppose if i'm saying about the transport in plants then first of all here we should have to be know what you know doesn't know see here i am just telling you that uh, transport in plants that how we how we understand this very transport in plants that is mind map dear how we study uh let's see first because uh, this one is the mind map i'll not give you in details because whenever you uh, see my detail lecture or whenever you attend my detail lecture then you will be understand there is what yes this one is the sir, fantastic but this one is important for only those students who have already studied yes getting my point who have already studied they know about all the things then this one is fruitful for that very students so the mind map is only for that very students who have already studied once times two times three times yes or no so uh, at the time of the examination when he when uh, he or she hear my videos or uh, just uh, watch my videos then understand about the basic concept that yes this the thing is written in the ncrt right now the question is here sir how we start yes or no yes or no how we start let's see uh, dear, whenever we start this mind map of transport in plants, then first of all, we should have to know here what means of transport. See, first, means of transport. Here, the means of transport in plants occur in two ways. In two ways, my dear. See, here the sub branches here. First one is the what? Here, we study what the diffusion. Then, after we study what active transport. Then, after the uh, facilitated diffusion is, how, is here also. In facilitated diffusion, what we should have to be know here? Uniport see here uniport i'm giving numbering i'm giving numbering uniport then after what sim port then after antiport yes this one we should have to be study first so first of all i would like to mark that very numbering that uh, uh, which one we have to be know first then after which then after which then after which so whenever you mark these always things now according to the number so then it is easy to understand that yes this way we have to be know about this was the sequence that we should have to be know about this one mind map because there are so many branches here and if once the so many branches here the students were confused from where we should have to be start they doesn't know the sequence that where we should have to be start in mind map this one is the main problem i know it i know your problem that what you are getting so there are many branches is here but where we should have to be a start but the students who are studying in details they know about where we should have to be start yes or no so this one is the very fantastic thing to know here let's see what i'm saying here i'm saying here about the transport in plants after that after that what antipode plant water relation we have to be know here then the put here sixth number then after then after absorption of water so let's see what i'm saying here absorption of water number seven in absorption of water my dear what we know about the simplest way simplest way yes this is the another method that how the plant uh, help in the transportation ab after absorption then after then after what apoplast pathway they are the two pathway my dear one is the what simplast pathway and second one is what apoplast pathway getting my point yes now next uh, water movement of a plant water movement of a plant so whenever i'm saying that the water movement of a plant then it means what here the movement in the form of what transpiration pool my dear yes there is very interesting point my dear that is must have to be know if you don't know here now then it's your fault my dear 
getting my point it's your fault so try to understand here that what i am saying what we should have to be understand in this very topic this one is the very important thing to know here my dear now next one thing that is what a root pressure my dear what i am saying root pressure if i am saying here about the root pressure it means what you know you know no i will tell you about in details wait wait a moment i will just giving you a sequence that how we should have to be understand this one very mind map then after dear uh, after knowing about the root pressure then after we discuss which one thing that is what transpiration my dear what transpiration yes it is very important and uh, after that my dear we should have to be know here what uh, uptake and transport of mineral nutrition how the uptake of transport and mineral nutrition will take place this one is also very important so see after this uh, in this uh, very branches here the sub branches also here that is uh, what number 14 i am marking here that is uptake of what mineral science how the mineral science science will uptake from the from the soil to the apex region or you say the apical region of the stem getting my point yes and then after then after then after what we should have to be know uh, let's see uh, here here i am going to tell you about the transport in plants that is what uh, that is what the 15th number that is mass flow hypothesis yes this one is very very important very very vvi you mark it here my dear very very important to know here to know about what mass flow hypothesis my dear we know we already know that is the most accepted theory my dear for the translocation yes translocation i am saying so which one translocation translocation of sugar yes you are right translocation of sugar from where from source to sink my dear so uh, wait a moment i will give you in some details through ncrt yes because i have also uh, make a ncrt pdf here also so i will give you in some details uh, nothing is to be bothered here okay wait for a moment i will give you so here how much point we should have to be studying in this very mind map here are the only 15 points 15 points we have to be studying here and this one is the diagram that show you how the same plast how the same plast will occur my dear and how the ap plast is the occur my here okay the same plot in yani a same port antiport uniport is this one thing is very important to know here here the pericycles capillary strips is also here here the xylem how the uh, water and minerals what transport within the plants my dear so let we should let we have to be start here first now now the things we here to be know one by one my dear okay so let us start the winds of transport here just i am making another slides here for you let's see my dear the first thing that is what i am saying here that is what transportation in plants so here you all know that transport what the meaning of transport my dear the first thing that is very important to know here you know what very good transport means what to carry the substance from one place to another getting my point to carry the substance from one place to another is means what transport correct yes wait a moment in a meanwhile i am taking some energy drink also so that uh, whatever my thought will be not uh, being dry so that's why i am taking okay so see uh, for, uh, what i am saying here i am saying here that uh, what do you mean by transport my dear if i am saying here about the transport it means what to carry substance let's see what i am writing here to carry to carry substance to carry substance from from what I'm writing here from one place to from one place to what I'm saying dear to one place to what another from one place to what another my dear so now the thing is uh, know here that what the important what the substance we should have to be carry here my dears uh, I'm going to say that uh, in plants we carry what water let's see first water then after I'm writing what minerals then after I'm writing what minerals then after you write what ions ions and uh, also you write what some uh, food 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 in the form of what my dear that is in the form of starch stored in the form of starch stored in the form of what is starch correct and uh, transport in the form of what sugar transport in the form of what sugar 
yes uh, so are the, there are different uh, different substances which transport within the plants that is water minerals ions food whatever the food made uh, manufactured by the plants uh, that very food that is transported each and every parts of the plants material but now the thing is here to know that how 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 this the things is to be transported within the plants this one is very interesting to know here my dear so let me see here that how the plants transported you know my dear that whatever the transportation will take place let's see how uh, number one that i'm going to tell you about this one thing wait a moment yeah here suppose this one is this this one is the word plants uh, suppose this one is the word plants uh, right what i'm saying to you this one is the word plants uh, i'm making double layered you know that the plant has what double layered membrane outer wall is what cell membrane inner membrane sorry outer wall is what cell wall and inner membrane is known as what cell membrane am i right the outer wall is what cell wall this one is what cell wall getting my point and this one is what cell membrane my dear getting my point cell wall is made up of cellulose cell membrane is made up of lipoprotein my dear see again i am this making again i am this making Uh, wait a moment, wait a moment, my dear. I am going to erase this one thing. In this way, we should have to make. In this way, we should have to make, my dear. Wait a moment. Yes, you are very good boy and good girl. Wait a moment. Yes, this one is the way. This one is the way. Okay, let's see that what I am going to tell you here the word double layered membrane also in this very cell and this one is suppose B cell or any other cells you say, right? Suppose this one is the A cell, this one is the word the B cell. Okay, now see what I am going to tell you here. If I am saying that the transportation, it means here that the things that is what to be transported, how? How the things is to be transported suppose this one was cell into the another cell with the help of what a plasmodesmata plasmodesmata which connect with the one cell to the another cell my dear number one and number two the things that is transported from outside to inside and inside to outside my dear so out to in o to i and here i to o I to what? Oh, getting my point. Yes. Out to in, into out. In this way, transport and something that is transport within the cell, within the word cell, my dear. So, in three ways, the transportation is here. Number one, to entry or exit of cell. First, what I am writing? To entry. Yeah, you also can write, you can also write, remember, take out your copy and write down also how the plant's transportation will take place. <laughs> write down to entry or exist of cell, to entry or exist of what I am saying, cell. Second one is what, uh, one cell to another, one cell to another, getting my point and third one is what, within the cell within the cell my dear okay okay getting my point within the cell i'm saying so see here the very important to know that how the movement of the substances will take place in three way it either entry or exist of the cell second one is one cell to the another or within the cell my dear so this one is the transportation now the question is here sir by what means by what means the transportation will take place my dear okay this was the point the means is there there that is what a uh, tissue that is a tissue and you all know that the tissue tissue is what you know the tissue histology study of hist um, tissue is known as what in no histology yes good 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 you are right the study of tissue is known as histology but my question is here is what what is tissue getting my point what is tissue the group of cell to perform a specific function to known as what tissue my dear Yes or no? You forget, uh, yes, you forget. Group of cell, write down, write down. I am dictating here. Group of cell 
to perform a specific function is known as what my tissue clear the group of cell to perform a specific function is known as tissue material okay 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 wait a moment here i am saying here i am saying the tissue that name of that very tissue is what you know that is what i am writing here that is what conducting tissue what i am writing here conducting tissue see see here the plant also here the what conducting tissue which carry the what minerals or you say the ions from roots to the apical region see here this one see here this one the plant yes or no yes on the top of my head see there this one is the plant now then the how the substance to be carried with the help of conducting tissue that very conducting tissue you know the two number one number one that is what xylem my dear and number second that is what fallen that is what fallen my dear hope so you all are getting hope so you all are getting right okay so conducting tissue the term is clear yes the tissue which carry the minerals ions manufactured food by the plants and you know which one make the food yes right leaves and in leaves what they contain chloroplast very good that is a what pigment chloro means green plast means what pigment so whatever the green pigment contain in a plant is known as what chloroplast right and in the plants which one the chloroplast yes this one is right and in chloroplast which one make the food you know don't know that is wall of thylakoid yes my dear so when i teach you in the plant physiology photosynthesis na then i will tell you there then i will tell you there my dear okay so in this very unit we have to be know what the photosynthesis right so wait a moment you know little by little okay first i am going to give the transport then after the manufactured food na yes or no because in the photosynthesis you already know that in photosynthesis required what carbon dioxide water and minerals sunlight these all things are necessary so firstly we give the the transportation so you about the transportation then after we study about the photosynthesis also in plant physiology yes or no let's see let's see what i'm saying now the time is here to know about what is xylem and what is phloem you know xylem is a conducting tissue which carry water and minerals my dear water and minerals see what i'm saying here let's see with the help of diagram i'm going to tell you suppose this one is the plant suppose this one is the what plant my dear this one is the plant. getting my point so here are the what conducting tissue i am going to draw here and i am going to draw 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 yes this one see this one is what a conducting tissue there is very difficult to draw a straight line with the, with the help of what pen pad getting my point or not but you just imagine here this one is what a straight line okay so one is the what conducting tissue another one is also another one is also sir yes my dear another one is also let's see this one this one i am making this one i am making yeah good good right right let's see so this one is the conducting tissue suppose this one is the name is what xylem this one is what xylem sir you made here two conducting tissue yes my dear one is the xylem x y l e m and this one is what my dear phloem this one is what phloem correct so see this one is the what root this one is the what root my dear clear and this one is what a stem getting my point let's see what i am saying here i am saying here they are that in transportation xylem the first xylem the first carry substances from where from this one the root na from the root na so see here so see here whatever the water whatever the water plus minerals plus ions getting my point so all the water and minerals absorbed or by diffuse with the help of what fine root hairs branches rootlets you say yes i am saying what rootlets that is the fine branches of roots my dear so all the roots absorb water and minerals from the soil and after absorption my dear see the transportation here take place in unidirectional what i am saying unidirectional with the help of whom xylem my dear yes xylem 
getting my point getting my point yes or no tell me first yes or no after that you all know that this one is the word suppose i am making a stock and leaves this one suppose this one is what leaves my dear getting my point this one is what leaves and this is finest tomato getting my point yes yes see after that whenever the water and minerals move upward my dear moves upward then this very tissue transport the water and minerals from one cell to the another cell with the help of the plasmodesmata my dear yes and after that whenever the water and minerals absorbed by the roots then it reaches to the apical region of the plants apical region of the plants and uh, leaves also get that very water and minerals and you know that the sun and you already know that wait 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 for a moment wait for a moment and you all know that uh, what you all know that suppose here the sun here the word sun give us what sunlight here sunlight here okay okay you are all getting yes sunlight here my dear sunlight i am saying sunlight when the sunlight what gives energy to which one this one is the leaf and you all know that and you all know that uh, what i am saying from outer surrounding from outer surrounding co2 yes taken by the stomata that is minute opening here that minute opening is known as what a stomata a stomata we are located at located at the basal region of the leaves what i'm saying basal region of the leaves yes so from basal region of the leaves there here is what a stomata carry what carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide water and mineral science all taken by hairs and this one the leaves make uh, take uh, sunlight and after taking all these things whatever the food manufactured within the plants they are transported whatever the food manufactured by the plants they are transported with a tissue that very tissue is known as what my dear you know this one this one is the phloem tissue this one is what the phloem tissue so see here the direction is what downward as well as what i am saying upward also what i am saying upward also yes upward also so here the movement is what unidirectional what i am writing here unidirectional unidirectional my dear but here the movement is what here the movement is what bidirectional bidirectional or you say what my dear multi directional what i'm saying multi directional yes multi directional also we say this one is the confidence you know why because so many times i am teach the strength so that's why this one is the confidence so bi directional as well as what multi directional i'm saying getting my point so phloem is just such a conducting tissue which is responsible to carry the manufactured food yes stored in the form of starts but transport in the form of sugars getting my point stored in the form of starts but transport in the form of sugar my dear with the help of the conducting tissue that very conducting tissue is what phloem phloem and this phloem you know and this phloem you know carry the manufactured food in both direction my dear in upward direction as well as what i'm saying in the downward direction also yes this one is the point that you have to know my dear now the question is here sir the basic ideas here is clear that what about the transport how the what the things is to be transported in a plants and how the transportation will take place in this plants this one is a very basic ideas that you have to be get clear okay that is clear here my dear now the point to be after know that what see this one is the thing means of transport with the help of the diffuser so see here the diffuser will here the diffuser will take place or not within the cell or one cell to the another or out to in or into or they all with the help of what my dear diffusion with the help of our diffusion and you all know that the diffusion is what the flow of energy from higher concentration to lower concentration 
so if the energy flow from higher concentration to lower concentration they doesn't need energy to transport getting my point getting my point but whenever i am saying the movement of the substances from lower concentration to higher then it is known as what active transport they need energy in the form of atp getting my point so uh, when we go in a detailed lecture video my dear then i will say there this one thing because uh, here there is no need to be know about this one thing only here you have to be know only in mind map what that how the transport means of transport is what so let's see here active transport and passive transport i will say here na so here when i'm saying about the means of transport with the help of diffuse and here it means that the passive movement is here you know the meaning of passive movement no passive movement means that a substance from higher concentration to lower concentration just i tell here my dear whenever the energy flow from the higher concentration to lower concentration suppose suppose here the concentration is what higher any 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 material suppose you let's see here the concentration is what high correct so if i'm saying that the concentration move from out to inside so here is what passive transport my dear but if i'm saying but if i'm saying what listen first but if i'm saying here that suppose if the concentration of the gradient materials if the concentration gradient is what here is what more here is what more within the cell is what more let's see let's see here what i'm making here here the concentration gradient is what more and the energy flow from inner to outer my dear inner to what outer my dear getting my point inner to what outer here is also what diffusion because the concentration gradient here is what more so whenever the energy from either the outside to inside or inside to outside there is with the diffusion whenever uh, in diffusion there is what passive transport in passive transport means what the concentration flow from higher to lower concentration here the concentration is what either concentration is high outside either the concentration high inside no problem here the what here the passive transport here the what passive transport pt i am writing in short way pt passive transport now the question is here when we say the active transport when we say the active transport my dear this one is the question tell me first yes i am just tell here tell me whenever uh, when we say the word uh, passive transport my dear uh, sorry whenever we say the active transport this one is the question problem no problem my dear see here uh, what i am saying here see here suppose the concentration gradient is what it is what low correct here the concentration gradient is what low but they need to be go move inside they need to be what move inside so whenever the concentration gradient low and move from outside to inside outside to inside outside to inside but the concentration gradient here is what low my dear so if the concentration gradient is low outside and they need to be moved from outside to inside then how the transportation will take place this one is the question yes or no so this one with the help of transport that is at that is active transport my dear and active transport they need a what energy my dear what i am saying they need a what energy yes yes so see this one is the thing is written here so here let's see let's see here this one is also written here or not let's see here the in active transport see here i am just making in box in active transport what we know here energy is required my dear energy is what required and whenever the energy is required to pump molecules against concentration gradient because here you see against concentration gradient uh, against concentration gradient why i am saying because here the concentration gradation is what concentration gradient is what is more and the, this one is the concentration gradient is what less here the concentration gradient is what more so if the concentration gradient is what more inside less outside they need to be the flow inside but how the the question is here there the transport that transport is known as what active transport and that very transport need energy my dear and that very need energy in the form of what in the form of atp yes you are definitely right correct 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 this one is thing is clear now now here to know about the what the diffusion yes sir diffusion is be here but the thing is to be know here that what you know here sir how the diffusion will take place yes diffusion will take place see in this one 
Suppose, see in this one, here the diffusion or not? Here the diffusion one cell to the another or not? Yes, sir. When the things to be moved within the cell, here is diffusion or not? Yes, sir. When, when I am saying the uh, one cell to the another, there is diffusion or not? Yes, sir. But now the question is here, how? Now the question is here, how, my dear? Let's see. How? So, see, when I am saying you about the uniport, it means what? One molecules move independent of what other? See, with the help of? With the help of the diagram, I am going to say you about uniport first. Uni. Uni means what? Single direction. Yes. See. Suppose this one is what? This one is what? Plant cell. I am going to what? Making here plant cell. Right? This one is the outer wall. Cell wall. Getting, yes sir, inner membrane is known as what? Cell membrane, this one is the cell membrane, also you say plasma membrane, also you say the selective permeable membrane, yes all are same, all are same and here most of the space occupied by the plants is what? Vacuoles, very good, getting my point, getting my point. And here in the corner, this one is what? Nucleus. Good. You all know. You are so intelligent, students, my dear. What a fantastic. What a fantastic. You all are intelligent, students. Mind-blowing, my dear. Mind-blowing. Tell me the name of this very. Tell me the name of this very fluid. Yes, yes, yes. I am asking to you. Tell me the name of this very fluid. You don't know. You don't know my dear, so come near, I will give here the concept very clear. Let's see, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see what I am doing. See, this one is the what? Outer wall, this is known as what? Cell wall. What I am writing here? Cell wall, my dear, getting? And this one is what? Cell membrane. I am writing cell membrane, my dear. And this one is what? Vacuole, vacuole, vacuole. And most of the space occupied in a plant cell with the help of what? Vacuoles, my dear. And here is also very important to know what? Here is also some dense fluid. You know the name of this very fluid? No. You don't know. Because only some of the students know about this one thing. There, this one is I'm going to, I'm going to labeling here. This one is what? Cell sap. What is writing here? Cell sap. Yes, that is a fluid within the word vacuoles, my dear. In blue color, what this? Uh, tell me first. Tell me first. No, you don't know. This one is cytoplasm. This one is what? Cytoplasm, my dear. And this one is what nucleus, which is located at the periphery. Located where at the periphery. This one is nucleus, my dear. Sir, this one is the leveling of what plant cell. <laughs> Getting? But here you want to tell me what? Here you want to tell me about the uniport. Sir, uniport, what the meaning of uniport? Let's see first. Wait for wait a moment. Can I drink water? This one is the energy drink, my dear. This one is the energy drink and this one is the herbal life. This one is what? Herbal life. Okay. Yes, I am not giving you advertisement, this one thing. This one is the herbal life and uh, this it is the some powders that you have to mix it with the warm water and that very color of this very water is what? Yes, this one reddish color and this one is very fruitful to all of you, my dear. So, if you want to take, then no problem, can also take. Hmm. Give us what making sharp in mind. So let's see what I'm saying to you. Here, uniport. I'm giving the terms what uniport. So, but we should have to be know. Let's see. It's a very simple. Let's see. Let's see, my dear, what I'm going to tell you right now. Yes, see here. I'm going to tell you about my dear here. The uniport. It means that the thing is to be transported in a single direction what i'm saying in a single direction how i make my dear so this one this one this one this one 
within the cell yes sir is no problem within the cell also within the cell also but the direction is it is what in this way correct unique part single direction let's see now this one the thing uh, this one is the thing see here one molecules move independent of others here the movement of molecules what i'm saying independent to others yes or no there is no need to be to take the things to be move no no independent they are what independent and all uh, everyone want independent my dear yes or no you also want independent from your parents no 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 not independent from your parents yes uh, because your parent need support need your support so you must have to be remain with your parents just take bliss from your parents day by day you can grow my dear yes without taking bliss from your parents you never grow in your life my dear so just you get to respect there okay so let's see uh, i'm saying here that the transport here i'm saying here to what transport here but the how the question is here that the how there are so many things number one that is what a unicode now see in this very mind map what what i'm saying unipod uh, unipod is clear now if i'm saying in the same port it means what when the both molecules move in the same direction means here one molecule here the both molecules suppose there are two molecules and the two molecules are move in the same direction in the what same direction if i'm saying see here suppose this one is here only the one molecules i am saying one molecule here i am saying in uniport see here in uniport but if i am saying here about what same port whenever i am saying what in same port in same port same port here the molecules how many molecules my dear here here only the single molecules i am saying na here how many molecules let's see let's see here the two molecules here what i am saying two molecules my dear Two, mo two molecules move in what in single direction my dear so two molecules move whenever in a single direction then it is known as what my dear sing port what i am saying sing port getting my point getting my point yes definitely clear you know this one thing clear so sing port is clear when both the molecules both the molecules same direction but both molecules move in opposite direction this one is the very very interesting to know very interesting to know anti port third one is what sorry wait 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 for a moment third one is what anti port i am going to tell you about what next one is what anti port see in anti port in anti port is here is what not here wait for a moment i am going to tell you here wait 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 for a moment why you are hurrying wait yes here 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 see suppose the movement of molecules here in this direction and another molecules move in this direction yes so if the movement of molecules in two different direction what i am saying in two different directions let's see both the molecules move in opposite direction opposite direction not in a single direction then it is known as what both the molecules one of the molecules is moving in this direction and one of the molecules moving in what in this direction the both the molecules move in both the molecules molecules move in what opposite direction what i'm saying here dear very good opposite direction opposite direction then it is known as what then it is known as what my dear antiport antiport hope so this one is getting hope so you are getting yes so see here this one thing here the antiport here the what here the antiport given or not yes see here so hope so facilitated diffusion is clear facilitated diffusion how many way in three way uniport one molecules move independent of other 
same port, both the molecules move in the same direction. What am I saying? In the same direction when both molecules move in the same direction value. Now, anti-port, it means what? Both molecules move in opposite direction, my dear. Correct? So, the passive transport is clear, active transport is clear. These all are the means of transport, my dear. These all are the means of transport. Facilitated diffusion is also clear. Yes. So, in facilitated diffusion, how the diffusion will take place, my dear, clear? That is in uniport, same port, anti-port. Correct? Correct? Now, now, the point here to know about what? Plant water relation, my dear. What I'm saying? Plant water relation. Now the time to here to know about what plant water relation. Now here I'm going to tell you about what plant plant water plant water relation plant water relation, my dear. See here in plant water relation. Here it means that. Suppose, suppose this one is the word. I am making a diagram of what this one, this one plant. Suppose this one is what plant. Getting? And wait for a moment. Here also need to be what? Make a leaves also. This one does not look like leaves. Wait. Hmm. Wait, wait, wait for a moment. Wait for a moment. This one, I'm making what? Yes, this one looks like what? Okay. Yes, see, my dear. This is okay. Correct. And this one is fine. Here, like projection, also known as what? Known as what? When let's. This one is venlets. This one is mid vein, side vein, venlets, mid rib. This one is mid rib. This one is the lamina. This one is the leaf apex. This is the stalk. You know, you know, this one is morphology. Let's see. This one is what? Root. This one is what? Root. This one is the what? Root. And this one is the what? Stem. And this one is what? Leaf, my dear. Here, I'm going to tell you about the plant water relation beta plant water relation suppose suppose here i am just making a diagram of what suppose this one is water suppose 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 let's imagine this one is what water and you all know that the plant need what water yes sir definitely plant need water no problem this one is what water and in water contains what sir water contain what minerals sir any other thing also? Yes, ions. Ions. There are so many different substances mixes in the water. But what the relation is the water relation. Water relation here nay, in a plants. So here the water relation my dear. Here the relation of what? First that is diffusion. First here what? Diffusion. And second one is what? Osmosis. Osmosis. So, here the diffusion concept I clear here in this one slide. Yes or no? In the diffusion, here the basically the diffusion will take. See here, this one the diffusion. I make the point clear here. Yes or no? So, now see the osmosis. Wait a moment. Osmosis. So, in a osmosis, you know that the energy flow from, let's see what I am writing here, the definition of osmosis. If anybody can ask you osmosis, then what do you say? The energy, the energy, flow from the energy flow from flow from higher concentration flow from higher concentration to what I'm saying higher concentration to what I'm saying lower concentration the energy flow from higher concentration to lower concentration concentration with the help of with the help of what I am saying selective permeable membrane what I am saying selective 
परमीएबल मेम्ब्रेन सी सेलेक्टिव परमीएबल मेम्ब्रेन मैडी लिसन फर्स्ट मैडी लिसन फर्स्ट लिसन इज वेरी वेरी सिंपल वेट फॉर मोमेंट what i am telling you here the energy flow here yes definitely the energy flow here but how but how this one is the thing the energy flow here from higher concentration to what my dear lower concentration but the thing is here to know that how it uh, with the help of osmosis it is very simple but the question is here with the help of selective permeable membrane dear suppose if i am taking handkerchief suppose suppose wait wait a moment yes this is simple that how i am going make it simple let see take a handkerchief okay and put it in water what do you feel what do you see there the water absorbed by that three handkerchief am i right or not am i right or not again i am repeating here see take the handkerchief put it in a water what do you see there water absorbed by that very handkerchief so when the water move in the space of handkerchief my dear you see there what no no there is a minute openings my dear that is a fine force is be there getting my point or not suppose this one is the what handkerchief this one is what the handkerchief suppose and handkerchief there is a what minute openings minute openings when you put it in what when you put it here in what where in a water in a water then what you see you see that the water move inside the water move what inside and you know how the water move inside yes sir because in a handkerchief there is a what minute opening on the surface and that very openings absorb the water yes so whenever the things move from outside to inside or inside to outside with the help of what i am saying selective permeable membrane so dear see here if here i am making the cell membrane na huh? here i am making the cell membrane this cell membrane is also known as also known as what selective permeable membrane what i am writing here selective permeable membrane why i am saying the selective permeable membrane because it allow only the useful substance to in and out getting my point so cell membrane is a word cell membrane is a word selective permeable membrane which allow the substances to be move inside and outside selectively selectively yes or no now now the point is here to be know the point is here to be know about what the uh, what the plant water relation so here see if i am saying here that water potential it means that the potential of water that is a uh, what a potential gradient which is moved from outside to inside that is, is totally depend upon the water potential of the solute and what water potentials differences my dear so osmosis diffusion of solvent water across the semi permeable membrane this point is clear plasmolysis what i am saying plasmolysis shrinkage of cell what i am saying here what i am saying here shrinkage of cell as shrinkage of protoplasm in a cell away from away from its cell wall and towards the center is known as what my dear plasmolysis let's see let's see in this one slide if i am saying you about the plasmolysis you know the plasmolysis means what you know the meaning of plasmolysis don't know let's see let's see here let's see here the term i am going to write here what plasmolysis plasmolysis so shrinkage of cell inward what i am writing here shrinkage of cell where my dear inward shrinkage of cell inward why why i am why i am saying shrinkage of cell inward you know why because the movement of water molecules from inside to outside suppose take a grain this one is the grain uh, this one is the grain grain gram gram take a gram chana yes take this one grain okay this one is double layer membrane clear this one is grain and you just put in the water you put where you put where in water 
wait a moment. Put where? You put in this. We are in a beaker and inside the beaker, inside the beaker, suppose here the what? Water is here. This one is what? Water. Clear? So, the energy flow from outer to inner? Yes, sir. So, this one is the grain. This one is the grain is filled up with what? Uh, filled with water and whenever, whenever water is lost, when I am, what I am saying? Water loss. Water loss from what I am saying? Uh, this one is suppose, uh, this one is suppose what? Grain. Okay. Or you say the ground, seed ground. Okay. So, when water is lost from this grain, what do you see? This one is the, this one is the shape, my dear. See, wait for a moment. Yes. This one is the shape. You see, this one is the shape. The loss of water. So, this if the loss of water is here, loss of water is here, loss of water is here, then it is known as what? Plasmolysis. So, the cell become what? Shrink. Cell become what? Shrinks, my dear. So, here shrinkage of the protoplasm. What I am saying here? Protoplasm. So, you know the protoplasm. I am writing here the term protoplasm. Protoplasm means what? Cytoplasm along with nucleus. What I am writing here? Cytoplasm along with what? Nucleus, my dear. That is a living constituent part of the cell. So, when the shrinkage of the cell or shrinkage of the protoplasm is known as what? Yes, is known as what? Plasmolysis. Plasmolysis. Now, the another term here, here is given in a plant water relation that is, that is imbibition. What is here? It is written imbibition. Now, the point is too very important to know. That is the term what? Imbibition. I am going to write here what the term? Let us see. Imbibition. Imbibition. See here. Suppose this one is, this one is a log of, log of wood. And this one is what? Log of wood. Wait, wait, wait. Wait for a moment. This one the log of wood. Log of wood, my dear. Log of what? I am saying wood, but this one is what? Dead. This one is what? Dead plant. So, this one is when I am saying the dead plant, it means that here, here, what I am saying, the loss of water, loss of water, loss of water from inside to, from inside to outside, known as what, my dear, imbibition, known as what? Any loss of water waters wait a moment from from what i am saying inside to what outside my dear from inside to outside i am saying here so whenever the loss of water from inside to outside inside to outside then it is known as what my dear imbibition let's see here in this imbibition here imbibition clear imbibition term is clear now, now the point here to know about my dear absorption of water. So, absorption of water, there are two ways, my dear, that is symplast pathway, apoplast pathway. Okay. And this one thing that you have to be get from NCRT. Clear? So now I'm going to move a PDF of what NCRT, my dear. Yes, NCRT. And so you how this one thing. Let's see this one. And CRT, unit 4, plant physiology. Each and everything is given to clear here, my dear. See, yeah, this one is the plant physiology. Getting my point? Uh, wait, wait. Make it bigger. So that's easy to see you. Getting this one, plant physiology. So unit 4, plant physiology, my dear. So in a plant physiology, what we should have to be study? Yes. I was told each and everything go through. Here the scientist Melvin Calvin, my dear. Melvin Cal Calvin, born in Menostia in April 1911, received his PhD in chemistry from, from University of, from University of, what, you know, PhD, 
in chemistry from University of Minnesota. He served as a professor of chemistry at the University of California in Berkeley. Just after the World War II, when the world was under shock after the Hiroshima Nagasaki bombing and seeing the ill effect of radioactivity, and you all know that in the World War II, mostly the people retired with the water using atomic bomb, where in Hiroshima Nagasaki, that, that very atomic bomb, there is a word, a radioactive substances which make them ill. So, Calvin and co-workers put radioactivity to a beneficial use. So, if uh, Calvin understand that things, this one is a very destructive to human. So, if this one is destructive to the human, is it possible to make it constructive? Yes, Calvin and co-worker put this radioactive to a beneficial use, my dear. You know, he along with a J.A. Bassam studied a reaction in a green plants forming sugar and other substances from raw materials like carbon dioxide, water and minerals by labeling by carbon dioxide with a radioactive element C40. See what I'm saying. J.A. Vassam's along uh, with the other scientists, uh, other co-workers also, other co-worker also, uh, in a gr take green plants, make them reaction from sugars and other substances, other substances, what are, just are the labeling made up of that things of carbon, radioactive element carbon. So, Calvin, Calvin proposed that the plants change light energy to chemical energy. Yes, Calvin proposed that the plants change light energy to what? Chemical energy. How? By transferring an electron in an organized array of pigment molecules and other substances. This one is very important, my dear. Calvin proposed what? Calvin proposed that, that the plant changes plant change light energy into chemical energy. You know, whatever we eat food, that very food is stored, what? Chemical energy, my dear. Yes, chemical energy. That very chemical energy by transferring an electron in an organized array. Getting my point? Yes, array of pigment, pigment molecules and other substances. Now, the mapping of this pathway of carbon assimilation in photosynthesis, when we study the photosynthesis, my dear, we know here the mapping of mapping of pathway carbon assimilation photosynthesis earned him a Nobel Prize when when he get Nobel Prize in 1961. So the principle of photosynthesis as established by Calvin. Yeah, this is very very important, my dear. If anybody can ask you the principle of photosynthesis was established by whom, then you say this one is the person looking so handsome. That is Melvin Calvin, my dear. Melvin Calvin. So, at present being used in studies on renewable sources for energy, whatever the energy we use in the form of renewable and the materials, basic studies in a solar energy research. This one is the greatest scientist, my dear, in what Manostia in April, my dear. And he received his PhD also in chemistry from the University of Manostia. Thank you, sir. Thank you for giving us such a wonderful things to us. See, here, in transport in plants, transport in plants here. Dear, this one is very important terms that you must have to be, you know, translocation. You know the translocation, my dear? What the translocation? Transporting of manufactured food from one region to the another is known as what? Translocation, my dear. Getting my point? Translocation. So, translocation term is clear. But when we go in details, then I will share, tell you about these all things. These all things means of transport diffusion, diffusion term, diffusion term. I also show you yes or no facilitated diffusion. What the facilitated diffusion, my dear? This one term also I told you yes or no. Uh, then after, then after see here the membrane, how the outside cell to inside, yes or no. Protein transport, transport molecules, inner side of. When we go through this one thing now in details, then I will show you the in NCRT. Uh, here the porins, here the transport C. Carrier protein is here in a uniport, single direction, antiport, same port, yes or no? Membrane. So this one thing. So this one thing, my dear. Yes or no? Uh, this one thing. Now, 
passive sim port and anti port active transport this one term i also clear you yes or no active transport also then after complete comparison between transport substances how the transport substances okay uh, transport the things here the simple diffusion yes or no in a require a special membrane protein simple diffusion no highly selective no transport saturate no but facilitated transport and active transport is here okay so when you go through in a details then we study these all things my dear water plant water relation i also told here okay transpiration transpiration very important term that is what transpiration you know you know transpiration transpiration means what loss of water in the form of water vapor my dear yes loss of water in the form of water vapor so here the term water potential water potential yes see here the water potential you know that understanding of certain standard terms is necessary that is what water potential yes in this way we represent 5w is a concept of fundamental to understanding water movement my dear so the solute potential and pressure potential are the two main components that determine water potential so here are the two things one is the word solute potential or you say the word pressure potential my dear getting my point solute potential and pressure potential the two main components here that they determine the water potential now the thing is to be here that water molecules possess which type of energy kinetic energy my dear so whenever i am saying that the water molecules possess the kinetic energy it means what in liquid and gaseous form they are in random motion in both rapid and constant rapid direction and constant they are moving yes or no so this process of movement of substances down a gradient free energy is called diffusion yes i was told about this term diffusion the process of movement of substances down a gradient of free energy there doesn't need any energy then we say what diffusion so water potential is denoted by a greek symbol psi psi p s y or you this way psi and is expressed in the pressure unit as what pascal yes this one is very important to know here and you all know that the water potential of pure water is standard temperature which is not under any pressure is taken to be what zero my dear getting my point hope so you all are getting so here the what here all the solution have a low water potentials than a what than a what solute water potential is what always negative this one is the point so hence all solution have a lower water potential than pure water it means that the potential of the lower water is low magnitude of this lowering due to the dissolution of solute is known as what water potential my dear getting so if anybody ask you that how we to be find a solution at atmospheric pressure so here the water potential atmospheric pressure is equal to the solute potential my dear this one is very very important to know and this pressure is what greater than atmospheric pressure and this whenever the atmospheric atmospheric pressure is greater whenever it applied to your pure water solution its water potential increases see what i'm saying if the pressure greater than atmospheric pressure is applied to a pure water potential water solution my dear then its water potential was increases so it is very equivalent to pumping water from one place to the another so this you know in our body where the pressure is built up this pressure is built up with the help of the blood vessels and the pressures can build up in a plant system when water enter into the cell by diffusion causing pressure up against the cell wall it is makes the cell turgid yes or no so this one is my dear so when you go through in a details of this very chapter i will to tell you there how these all things happen my dear but this one is the mind map only so i will give you a little bit concise of this very chapter so hope so in a details video we know about these all things my dear so this one is sufficient to be know about this one thing but i am skipping some points of this mind map also uh, no problem when i give you in details then i will give you some basic uh, all the things in very very details my dear so thank you for watching me thank you have a nice day take care thank you